Okay, so let's talk about how to use an equation editor in a Google Doc. So at this point I've already got the equation editor up and I've got it actually frozen and I did this by clicking insert and then choosing equation and it made a new bar underneath my normal menu in my uh, Google Doc. And it says new equation so I clicked on new equation and then I went all the way over you can see I went to the fourth menu on the on, from the left and clicked down and I froze this right here so I could show you what's going on. Alright so I want to create the equation one half at squared. To do that what I'll do is I'll first look at it as one half and so I'll click on the A over B button right there and what that does in Google is they create basically three boxes. Two boxes of the fraction and there's one box afterwards. Now they don't show you that when it's created so it's invisible which is unfortunate. A little outline would be very helpful or coloring or something or even placeholders but they don't so you don't see it. But your cursor is in the top part of the fraction right now so I'm going to type a 1, type the letter number 1 and then I want to press the arrow key or the tab key to go to the next box. And when I do that, it'll go down below and I'll type a 2. Then I'll press the right arrow key or a tab button and it goes to the next box. And at this point, I'm back on the baseline of the text and I can type normally. But I know my next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the T squared. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the X raised to the B power, which is that one, that selection right there. And that'll create two boxes, one on the baseline and one is kind of a superscript then I'll it'll put my cursor also in that first box I'll type the T then I'll take the right arrow or press the tab key and then I'll move my cursor in the superscript box and then I'll type the 2 and then I can move my take a arrow to the right and get out of this get back down to the baseline if I wanted to so let's take a look at this and what it looks like when I actually do it so here I am with some kinematics equations I went to insert and down to equation to actually get these menus and it created this bar. I'm going to put some space here because it's right here and I'm going to type new equation. Now my screen's magnified so you can see things a little bit easier. But I'll type on new equation and then I'll type x equals x. Whoops, now I wanted x subscript 0. So I'll take x, I'll select here, get down to x subscript a, type the letter x, use the right arrow key and then a small lowercase o for my zero. Then I'll use the right arrow key to get out of that subscript and do plus. And then I want v naught. Now I want kind of a, let's say I'll just do v. Oops, did it again. I want v naught. So x subscript a. I'll type v, right arrow, go to zero. Right arrow to get out of that. Type t plus. I want the fraction. So I'll do a over b fraction. Type lever one right arrow key, number two, right arrow key, and then I'm going to choose x raised to the b power and write at, use the right arrow key, squared, and that becomes my equation. Now down here at the bottom I want to show you something. So I did one other equation, the summation of the forces in the x direction is equal to ma subscript net equals mg cosine theta. And for this I didn't I use the equation editor, but let me show you something. I'm going to use above the 9, shift 9, and shift 0, and I get that parentheses. Otherwise, I get this other parentheses. But these function differently. If I put a fraction in the one that I did with the shift 9, I get 1, whoops, let me click here, the 1, and then that's what the, the um, parentheses look like. But if I use the equation editor parentheses, and I insert the equation A over B, type the 1, the right arrow key, type the 2, and you see how the parentheses adjusted for the size because the fraction is taller than a normal line. So you want to use the parentheses that are built into the equation editor itself.